Hi guys, Professor Gustavo here. Today let's take a look at some simple but very effective De La Riva sweeps that BJJ Finum Tainan Dalpra used against Pedro Pagliares at the Artista Invitational. Now it's important to mention that anytime that I'm playing De La Riva guard, I have many different ways to control my opponent. I could be controlling my opponent with double sleeve control, sleeve and collar, sleeve and ankle, ankle and belt for example. And my De La Riva hook can also vary. I could have a shallow hook controlling the near leg or a deep hook controlling the far leg across the hip. For each one of these different controls, I will have a different set of techniques. So let's start here with the simple De La Riva sweep. Taina is having sleeve and collar control and he's gonna pull guard. He's gonna step on his opponent's leg to maintain the distance and his left foot is going to find that De La Riva hook, a shallow De La Riva hook. His opponent starts trying to go for a knee slice pass, but he won't be able to step his leg over Tainan's leg because the block is pretty solid. He's curling his toes, he's making the shape of his opponent's leg, and his opponent is starting to get completely stretched out. Tainan is pulling on the sleeve towards his head and stepping on his leg, pushing his leg away, so his opponent is starting to be completely stretched out. All he's gonna do is keep pulling and pushing, and he's gonna drive here the collar against his opponent's head, driving his head towards the ground. And the De La Riva hook also is helping to drive his opponent's hip towards the ground. So it's a very basic, simple sweep. His opponent is gonna try to post their hand on the ground, so Kainan is gonna pull his hand towards his chest by killing the post as he keeps pushing the knee, pulling on the sleeve and driving his De La Riva hook, guiding his opponent's hip towards the ground, finishing the sweep. Now the same sweep can also be done if my opponent is in a combat base with one knee up, one knee down. Here I'm demonstrating the same sweep with a deep De La Riva hook and double sleeve control instead. Now let's take a look at a different sweep with different controls. Tainan is controlling the tip of the lapel there and he's gonna pull guard again, stepping on the hip as before, but now he's controlling the ankle and controlling the lapel. That's the De La Riva guard that he's playing. And he has the shallow De La Riva hook there. What he's gonna do now is basically a sit up sweep into single leg takedown. His opponent is trying to break his lapel grip unsuccessfully. Taina still maintaining, managing the distance with that foot controlling the far leg, that helps to stretch out his opponent's base, limiting his movement. But one of the disadvantages of controlling the lapel is that both of his opponent's arms are free, so his opponent is going to start pushing Tainan's leg down, trying to clear the De La Riva hook here and trying to clear this foot stepping on his thigh. Tainan realizes that and with great timing he's going to start sitting up his opponent actually pushes his leg down, he's almost ready to start stepping over into a knee slice pass again. And Tainan sits up and he's gonna feed the lapel here to the, his other arm, to his left arm. He lost control over the tie, he is not stepping over the tie anymore, controlling the distance as much because his opponent pushes his leg down. But at least he's blocking the ankle here, he's controlling his opponent's leg somehow here. And once he feeds the lapel, to his left arm here, he's going to start sitting up into a technical stand-up technique. He's going to shift his weight to his right side so he can pose his right hand on the ground. And he's going to do a basic technical stand-up. The bottom leg here is going to help to drag his opponent's leg as he gets up. So he does a basic technical get-up, dragging his opponent's ankle with his own leg as he can, and not only that, dragging with the arm too, but he's gonna control that leg and now he's in a single leg takedown position. Unfortunately, they ran out of bounds here, but you guys know that once you have this lapel here, it's very, very hard to defend the takedown. It's hard to sprawl. It's basically, let's go back here, it's basically a half guard sweep, right? He gets up, his opponent's leg is in between his legs, so it's almost a half guard. You guys know if you guys are half guard players, 
once you feed the lapel here is almost a guaranteed sweep right it's very hard to defend bottom leg again is going to drag the ankle arm also helping to drag the leg as he gets up and feeds to his other arm ready to take his opponent down now let's take a look at some very similar options from that de la riva sit up position i'm playing with the sleeve and ankle control instead of the lapel and ankle so what I'm going to do is still the same, I'm going to push my opponent away, stretching out his base, limiting his mobility, so I can drop my Deleva hook down and feed, instead of the lapel, I feed the sleeve to my other hand. And that traps my opponent, I'm going to do a very similar sweep as the first one that we saw, I'm going to stretch my opponent out, I'm going to push on his leg and drag his shoulder down for the sweep. Now a follow-up for that first option, I'm trying to bring my opponent down, stretch him out, pulling his collar down, but he has a nice posture, or he pulls his hand on the ground, defending that initial sweep. Now it's a good time to transition to the technical stand-up. As he defends, I'm going to do my technical stand-up, dragging his ankle, stretching out his base to either come up to a single leg takedown, or sweeping him down if he has poor balance due to his arm being trapped.